the man who's going to keep us posted on the news this morning is KRQE News 13 anchor Matt Morrow, who has the morning's news headlines. Hi, Matt. Hey, Matt. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Kristen, and good morning to you at home. We start out talking about voters in Albuquerque. You're probably going to get to decide on a ban to late-term abortions in the city, but when you do, it could cost you a lot of money. Anti-abortion groups are trying to get a ban on abortions after 20 weeks passed. But to get that issue on the ballot in October, when we vote for mayor, city clerk would have had to have verified a little more than 12,000 signatures on a petition by yesterday. The clerk has only done about 10,000. That means a $600,000 special election could be necessary. And some city councilors are not too happy about that idea. I'm not ready to spend that kind of money. I don't think that the citizens of this city are ready to spend that kind of money. It's a really hard, tedious process, and there's been some perception that we are delaying the process, but really they are, they're working so hard and they've done an excellent job. Okay, if the mayor's election goes to a runoff, which is possible, the abortion question could go on that. That would not cost the city any extra money. City Council also has the option of approving the ban on late-term abortions and not having anybody vote on it. We'll let you know what happens. Well, the polls in Rio Rancho are now open. That's where voters are going to answer an important question about their taxes. The ballot proposal would cut the special, educa special higher education tax in half. It's been used to support UNM's West Campus. It could go to support a new campus out there between CNM and UNM. But a Republican city councilor tells us if voters agree to the cut, he wants to use the money instead to beef up police and fire departments. The polls are open until 7 tonight. We'll let you know how that turns out. Well, we now know construction crew is going to break ground on the huge I-25 Paseo makeover in just two and a half weeks. The State Department of Transportation says September 5th will be the official start date. It's the big Paseo I-25 project. DOT says 93 million bucks is going to be spent to redo. That's going to start with some pre-work, some of which is going on right now. This includes moving utilities and building drainage for the project. The DOT says this pre-work shouldn't affect your drive. Not yet, at least. Dirt will definitely be flying, but... They're not going to be impacted like they will later on in the project. We're going to make it very easy, easy into the project. Uh, the main construction to transform the congested interchange probably going to start after Balloon Fiesta. Thank goodness. Could you imagine what would happen if it was during Balloon Fiesta this year? We'll get to wait for next year for that. We'll take about two years to go ahead and get done. You've heard the phrase out with the old and with the new will come this spring. School kids here in New Mexico will be taking standardized tests online. And in this digital age, you know, there's really no doubt that kids are going to be able to adjust. But the question this morning, are schools ready? Secretary of Public Education designate Hannah Scandera says schools need to have at least one computer for every five students. The goal is to have the schools across the state ready by March. So to get a better idea of which schools are already ready, the Public Education Department is launching an online tool, and that goes live today. It's going to go to all our districts and ask these key questions. Are you ready? How do you know from a bandwidth perspective and from a student computer ratio perspective? All right, any school that is not ready will keep on doing the tests on paper to move to put the tests online. It's going to save $3 for every student. That adds up. Plus, it'll cut back on cheating while moving the state into the 21st century. However, Ms. Scandera says the whole thing will have some upfront costs, including training staff to give the new tests. That's uh, just the beginning of the school year. Kids, I think a lot of them working on that core curriculum today for those tests. Make sure you get more news headlines every weekday morning, 430 to 7, with Kristen and myself on News 13. Now we're going to go back to Nikki and to Kristen. And Kristen, if I didn't say it before, happy birthday. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Thanks, Matt. Birthday See you ladies tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. And